In this problem, we are given a rectangle with a particular length and width, and we're being told to find another rectangle that has the same perimeter, but a smaller area. How are we going to go about doing that? Well, let's, let's just first calculate the area of this rectangle. So this one is 70 yards wide and 105 uh, yards long. So this is 105 times 70. And that, I'll punch that in my calculator, that is 7,350. And these are square yards now because of this is area. Okay, so we want to find a rectangle that's got same perimeter but uh, an area smaller than that. Here's the thing about uh, rectangles. If you have a rectangle that's close to a square, it's going to enclose more area than if you had the same perimeter that was long and narrow, or more kind of a, a stretched out rectangle. So a square is a much more efficient way to enclose area. So the area is going to be bigger uh, f compared to the same amount of perimeter for something that looks closer to a square. We want to make a smaller area. So we want something that's more of a stretched out rectangle. So we could take 10 yards off of the width and add 10 yards to the length. That would stretch out the length a little bit. And if we did that, we'd have uh, 70 minus uh, 10 is 60 by 115. Now what this means is the perimeter would be the same. I'm not going to calculate it here, but you could. 70 plus 70 uh, plus 105 plus 105 is going to equal the same as 60 to, uh, plus 60 plus 115 plus 115. But let's calculate the area here now of this new rectangle. So 60 times 115. Punch that into my calculator. Aha, and we get... 6,900 square yards. So that is indeed smaller. Now you could um, subtract uh, whatever figure you want from the width and add it to the length. As long as these two numbers are the same, then you've got the same perimeter. So that was the method we went about here. If we wanted even smaller area, we could subtract 20 or 30 or 40, or we could subtract 69 yards if we wanted to and leave just one. Um, any of those would be right answers for this one. So subtract some amount from your width, add it to the length, and you'll get something that's more of a stretched out rectangle, therefore has a smaller area. If the problem asks you to make a greater area, do the opposite. Make it these numbers closer together. Subtract from the length and add to width. So that is some work with areas of rectangles with the same perimeter.